Hey guys, BDR Mr. T-Bag here, and today I am playing the Call of Duty World War 2 Beta. Now, I'm a little bit under the weather, so you'll have to excuse me if I'm not exactly sounding sprucey and happy or whatever, but I do feel like a bit of a... I feel like the flu has kind of hit me hard, so... I'm making this video basically just to say what I think of the game, uh, basically the pre-thoughts to when the game actually releases. At the moment, I'm really enjoying the beta. It's a lot better than I anticipated it to be. I was kind of going in with like low expectation. I was thinking it would be a 4 out of 10, but surprisingly, the game actually gets about a 6 out of 10 from me. I personally do feel like, at the moment, it's heading in a decent direction. Now, there are some issues, naturally. Um, sometimes hit markers are a bit inconsistent. I'm not 100% happy with, you know, the inconsistency with the hit markering and things like that. Sometimes you'll like shoot a dude, and it's kind of like, you'll get like 15 million hit markers on the one guy, and then the second guy will drop in two or three. It's a little bit wonky, but I don't mind that. I, and It's a beta, it needs work, obviously, as any game would. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. I don't like how it resets your settings sometimes. That's a little bit irritating. It's like your video settings, it'll reset when, you know, trying to set it all up. It'll just be like, yeah, I'm going to reset that so you can change it again. Um... Yeah, I don't know what that is all about, but at the moment, I'm... I think it's okay. Oh, the shotguns, by the way. This is one thing I don't like. People who walk around with shotguns like this. Apparently, she could see my name perfectly. She didn't do anything there in particular. What a great spawn. <laughs> she didn't do anything particular to kill me. She just basically shot me with a shotgun, and the shotgun with the incendiary rounds is really stupid, in my opinion. It's literally a death sentence. As soon as you get hit by... Oh. As soon as you get hit by one of the rounds, you're pretty much done for. I right, the PPSH, by the way, with this red dot and uh, and the the different rounds in, is OP. Now, the game, it's it has its ups, it has its ups and downs. I can't. It's not fucking solid. Like like there, for example, I just hit that dude in the face and I hit him in one hit. But the next time you'll hit dude and it'll be like, you'll get a hit marker. And I'm used to obviously, you know, killing people with one hit. That was a big crap for me though, I should have died. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's a little bit inconsistent at times, the um, hitting people. But now like if you had a knife or something like that, it'd be much nicer. But so far, I can't, I can't knock the game off. I can't knock the game hard because it is a beta, it's not going to be polished to a T. It's gonna have its issues, but so far, me and all my friends, we're really enjoying the bay. I like the headshot noise, the big ping noise you hear. I really think that's cool. Um, yeah, this PPSH is OP, and I know it's gonna be nerfed when the game comes out. Yeah, seriously, the, the PPSH is stupid OP. It's so fucking powerful. You gonna come around this corner or what? Yeah, that's. So I mean, it's just this gun is just so fucking turn. powerful. It's it's stupid. Oh bless him, he was a little noob. He didn't know artillery where to go. No. Waiting coordinates. Firing division artillery. Right. The artillery is a bit underwhelming though. Some of the kill streaks are not. Are not very good in my opinion. I'm not too keen on some of the kill streaks in this game. I do like the red indicator though. That shows you where the grenade is and if you're in death range. So when it's red, you're actually going to get killed by it. But when it's white, it's kind of like... It's not too bad. I'm not too keen on some of the things that the game has implemented. Like, I, I like creator class. But now it just feels like more like they tried to rip off Battlefield. And... Wow. Um... Seriously? I, I get killed by a fucking complete nutter noob that has no skill in the game whatsoever. Alright, that's cool. But yes, um, I just don't like the battlefield style. I prefer creator class where you could actually create your own, you know, your own weapons and shit like that. I mean, you can still customize the guns in this game, but it's took it's took a more battlefieldish approach, and I'm not into that. That leave that to battlefield. Now perks, mm, they're a little bit funky to me. I'm not too, not too keen on it. But, I mean, it could be better. The game has, obviously, you know, time to grow, time to fix some of the issues that it has. 
Oh god. And that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Those Insignia rounds are so fucking stupid. Wait. Okay. What? Alright, I got killed by a PPSH instead. I thought I got killed by the Incendiary Shotgun. The Incendiary Shotgun is stupid at the moment. Um, it really kind of needs a nerf, in my opinion. But this FG, this MG42 emplacement is so fucking OP. Bouncing around is a little thing that I don't like as well. It feels really bouncy. And look at that. That's what I'm talking about, right? She hits me one, two, three, four, five, six times, apparently. And because the game is... I don't know what it's trying to do, like, buff shotguns or whatever. It's... Impossible to not die to a shotgun that hits you six times with one shot. It's stupidly OP. Yeah, I deserve to die there, I'm gonna be honest. I fucking failed big time. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, wait, no! Video's demonetized! No! Yeah, that's one thing I'm, I'm kind of okay with. The gore is not as extreme as World at War, but it's there. And I like how you have to kill 100 to get to the, the marker now. I like I like going up to 100 instead of 75. I like that change. That change is nice and welcome. It makes the games a little bit longer. Although sometimes I've played the game and it's fucking gone well over the, uh, the time limit because people just leave this game really quickly, I've noticed. But there we go, guys. That's a, that's one of the games I've played. Um, I've played a lot of games. i played like fucking like nine hours. But um, I do like the kill of the game, and that's pretty cool. I keep reloading. I've got reload syndrome, and I don't like it, but... Quadra kill, eh? Yeah, that noise, that headshot noise, I really do like that. So yeah, that was uh, Call of Duty World at War. No. Wait, what am I talking about? No, this is Day of Defeat. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, this bit here, I will just quickly say, is really, really buggy. Um, it takes a while for it to load, and there's no noise to it, there's nothing behind it, it's just really slow at the moment, so hopefully that changes during the, uh, the game's release. Obviously, when November 3rd does come around, I hope, I really do hope, that they change some of the crap in this game, especially the fucking shotguns, and these here, this here, watch this, I'll just snap back up. Ready? There you go. That's not... I know it's, it's a beta, you can see that clear as day. Um, you know, there's some things in this game that need to change, in my opinion, but hopefully, you know, when it does come out, then, you know, it'll be fixed. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this short video. I do appreciate all you swinging around. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and I hope you think that this game is potentially going to fix what Call of Duty have done to the fan base. They've alienated everything. So, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all on the stream. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.